this may be a couple of days late, but happy Thanksgiving to all of you. So I'm not American, but I live in America and Thanksgiving is something about Indians and pilgrims, blah, 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 blah. No, that's not what Thanksgiving is about. I'm going to explain to you exactly what Thanksgiving is about. So we're going to be using good old Kabbalistic correspondences to explain Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving is always on the last Thursday of November. So what's special about that day? Thursday is ruled by Jupiter. Any operation that pertains to Jupiter is done on a Thursday. Thursday being ruled by Jupiter is chosen for the day for Thanksgiving because Jupiter rules gratitude it's part of the Jupiterian archetype to be grateful for what you have, to give thanks, to show appreciation. Okay, so you start to build up the picture here. So why on the last Thursday of November? Well, that's because I could go, oh no, my, this chart's not linked. So it's on the last Thursday of November because on that day on the tropical zodiac the Sun will be in Sagittarius it's the first Thursday where the Sun is in Sagittarius the week before on the Thursday before in the morning the Sun is at 28 29 degrees Scorpio and it crosses into Sagittarius and it's on it's on the cusp so if you have it on the next Thursday it's the first Thursday where on sunrise the Sun is in Sagittarius Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter so the story of the Indians and the pilgrims that's for the normie profane people that's what they get taught and then the your your ideologically possessed left-wing types will say, oh, it's racist. See, you have to understand, America was founded on occult principles. And the day that follows Thanksgiving is Black Friday. What's special about Black Friday? Well, black is the color of Saturn. And Friday is ruled by Venus, which is rules Libra co-rules Libra and Taurus so black and Venus is is paying homage to Saturn in exaltation in Libra and I, I, I don't know why they do this because on the Thursday it's all about Jupiter it's it's the Sun has crossed into Sagittarius on the tropical zodiac ruled by Jupiter and on that Thursday, we give thanks for what we have. So why the, why we have Saturn exalted in Libra on the next day? That doesn't really make much sense to me. Um, probably it's some kind of ritualistic operation. So businesses can move from the red into the black. That's why they call it Black Friday. No, it's not why they call it Black Friday. Uh, it's you, you know there's always two explanations for things there's the explanation they give to the NPCs and the normies those that are kind of soulless and dead inside the sheeple and then there's the second explanation which is the real reason why something like that happens so yeah just to recapitulate it's on a Thursday because Thursday is ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter uh, rules the archetype or the emotion of gratitude and appreciation. Uh, it's the benevolent king who has gratitude and appreciation for his subjects. 
and it's on the last Thursday in November because the sun will have crossed into Sagittarius on the tropical zodiac, which is the fixed zodiac, which is ruled by Jupiter. It's Jupiter all around, baby. So um, be thankful at this time for everything that we have, despite the global authoritarian coup that's going on that's destined to fail um, be thankful for what we have don't let the zeitgeist get you down remember Nietzsche said your the zeitgeist is your enemy and he was correct he also said journalists spew their bile and call it newspapers <laughs> good old Nietzsche so anyway yeah be thankful for what you have um, avoid letting the neurotic or even psychotic zeitgeist get to you. People that watch my channel are not normies. They're not sl asleep. They're they're down the road of mysticism and the occult. So yeah, just a short video. Um, I give thanks to all the people that enjoy watching my um, videos. Um, you know, I enjoy sharing this information or even this knowledge with people. No, I, I've only got a couple of people in my actual personal life that actually want to hear it. So I have to confide in people in the alternative community online. So, yeah, I give you thanks and... I also think that at this time, with this particularly nasty zeitgeist that's going around, it's good for those in the know that aren't with the powers that be to, you know, find our voices and not necessarily speak out, but just speak about what is going on and just you know call the illusion of samsara for what it is um don't let the events avoid letting the events get you down it's it's the transitory illusion of the matrix the the womb of prakriti so you know we're much better off just staying relaxed and staying grounded avoid worrying about events that may or may not come to pass see this is part of the game the universe is very malleable at the moment um, there's a lot of uncertainty and this is reflected in not just the presidential election no one knows who's going to win no one who pays attention knows who's, knows who's going to win you know, Biden's created this office of the president-elect. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a fictional title. It, 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 there's no such thing. So, this is also reflected in people's jobs and stuff like that. So, yeah, don't start any. Avoid starting any like new major projects right now. Um, it, just stay within yourself. Stay grounded. And, you know, these crazy pop bangers in England and these sheeple that will take all the food off the shelves and take all the toilet paper, stay away from those people. Like, just have no involvement with those people. You give, give thanks to your, your friends and your your acquaintances that are um, that you're able to have a real conversation with about real reality rather than illusory reality so yeah um, I'm kind of rambling on now but yeah happy Thanksgiving to all of you and we give thanks to for God for his eternal truth and him bestowing this gift of consciousness upon us so we can see the magnificence of his glory from our 
individual perspective. Take care.